In this video, I'm going to show you how to use possibly one of the best AI art generators for print on demand sellers, and that is Mystic POD. Now, the reason I say that is because Mystic is designed for print on demand sellers only, whereas a lot of the other tools out there like Ideogram, Midjourney, Dali3, Flux, they are not specifically designed for us. They can also generate photographs, 3D models or 3D renders, different types of art styles, drawings, like they cover everything and a little bit of POD, whereas Mystic only covers POD products and it's specifically specialized in that area with a ton of really cool looking templates, a very easy prompting interface and a lot of cool features that will help you get really nice looking t-shirt designs out there very, very quickly. So here we are on the homepage for Mystic. I will have a link to this in the description. You can actually sign up to this and try it out totally for free. There's no credit card required. You get a bunch of free credits and then you can already generate some graphics and you can even use those commercially, I'm pretty sure, even if you don't end up signing up to a plan afterwards. Also, one thing to note is that they are in beta still, so this is not fully launched, but it's already, in my opinion, one of the best AI art generators for print-on-demand sellers. This is just a quick overview of their UI and their dashboard. You'll see that in a second once I log in. Here we have a bunch of their features so you can bulk, remove background, vectorize and upscale. You can generate titles, descriptions and tags along with the graphics. That's always done automatically in the background and there's also a collections feature so you can keep everything nice and organized. I'll show you how to create those collections in a sec. Then this is kind of a quick glance at their prompting bar and how to generate images from scratch and then we can see a bunch of examples and these definitely look a lot like t-shirt designs it kind of seems like a, a mixture of the flux and ideogram style which is great because those are in my opinion two of the best kind of tools for generating print on demand graphics and you can clearly see that this is designed for print on demand sellers you can also pick which products you're designing for that's another cool feature that they have and that way the output is going to be slightly amended to suit that product that you want to have your final design for. So that's another unique feature. There's tutorials here. If you didn't know, this is actually created and designed by Chris Heckman, who is a seven year print on demand seller. I think he's been in it for a while. He's been on my podcast, Print on Demand Wisdom, and he's also been in quite a few live streams, the Print on Demand Council. He's a really great guy. He actually uploaded a 21 hour complete Shopify print on demand course for free to YouTube, which is absolutely mind blowing. But yeah, the fact that he's behind this, you can definitely tell because yeah, it, it does look very, very geared towards print and demand sellers. There's a bit of an FAQ down here, but let's actually log in and show you what the dashboard looks like. Now, one thing to note here is that the first time you log in, this screen will probably be blank because the home screen of the dashboard, it essentially shows you your previously generated images right here. And then at the top, you have the prompt bar. That's probably the only thing that you see. One thing to note about this prompt bar is it has with this uh, hidden behind the symbol right here, it has a bunch of different options. So you can do create, which is the default, simply describe the product you'd like to create, like a, a usual prompt bar. You can also do guided, which is quite cool, where you answer a few questions and it comes up with ideas for you. And you can use Spark, which essentially upload an image and it is based on that image. Then also on the top, you have templates. That is one of their best features, in my opinion. We'll go into that later as well. And you have the collections tab. I actually have a few collections pinned along the top right here on my dashboard, which I'm also going to teach you later on to stay organized. But let's first of all start with the prompt bar. So we'll, we'll try the first method right here of create. With this, you just type in a simple base prompt, for example, a motorbike at sunset. Um, you have the option to turn the mystic prompt off. This is essentially like magic prompt and ideogram or what Dan three does with ChatGPT, it rewrites your prompt and kind of fleshes it out, gives it a lot more detail. Now you could technically already hit generate right here and you can change the slider for the amount of graphics you want to create, but take note that the credits also goes up with that. But it's quite a cool feature. I mean, you can do up to eight designs at one time for the same prompt, which you cannot really do anywhere else. Like most of the AI art tools, they max out at four. With uh, DALI 3, you can only do one at a time and it takes really long. So this is definitely great for generating a lot of 
of designs quickly. But if you're on the free plan and you're just testing this out, maybe turn this down to one design just to save a bit on the free credits. One thing that I haven't mentioned yet is these categories down here, which actually make the whole design process way, way easier. Because let's say you want to design a t-shirt or you want a t-shirt design out of this prompt, click on that product and then it opens up a range of t-shirt design styles. We've got retro vintage right here. It loads up a little thumbnail. There's a minimalist style nature inspired it's quite cool typography we've got kawaii right here juna's favorite style tie-dye gradient 3d typography there's also 100 quotes and we have retro sunset at the end right here that is one of my personal favorites so we'll just select that for this type of design right here and i'll just go ahead and generate eight designs why not I'll click on that one more thing to note is that based on the category you choose right here you're going to get different presets as well so for stickers we also have cartoon style for a mug I saw some other topics like seasonal designs artistic illustrations food and drink so yeah there's definitely a, a range of different styles and presets based on which product category you choose down here but now as you can see we've got eight images generating at the same time and here we go now we've got a bunch of different results pretty much all of which look great for POD some more detailed than others and the layout is always a little bit different but we've got a good variety of graphics I really like this one for example then also the fact that we have some very sort of simple just silhouette style vintage sunsets right here that's definitely great and i like this one that's kind of more zoomed in on the wheel that's kind of a unique style in a sense and also notice how on the right we've got a bunch of details right here for the prompt the description so it, it generates a description for us and tags as well at the bottom you can now remove the background vectorize or upscale and we can also do that in bulk by the way but i'll go into those features later on you can select multiple of the results right here and then go to bulk actions to to remix, uh, meaning using this as a kind of template or preset to generate new graphics that are similar or remove the background, upscale, vector rise and download. I and mean, if you don't like any of the results and you want to keep things tidy, you can also delete them that way, kind of get rid of the messy stuff. Now to further explain this layout a little bit, you've also got a filtering system where you can search for a specific result. So let's say you generated some cat graphics earlier, but you want to scroll down all the way, you just search for up here. You can also filter by product type, art style, by the different tags that are in the description or based on the style right here you also have some different filters you can even click on this right here which is quite cool to change the view so with this setting you actually see a lot more graphics in one go and you can click it again to have kind of like a daily view. So what you've generated based on the day that you were using it, you can hit select all with these buttons as well, which is really handy to quickly select a bunch of graphics and not having to kind of click through individually. Now, if you want to create a collection to keep organized, you can select your graphics and then click this symbol down here. And then we'll just click create collection. And I'm going to name this motorbike right here, click create. And then you can find your collections over here. I've already got a bunch of them set up and if you want it pinned on the home page just click on this symbol right here and select pin to home these by the way are my liked templates which i'm going to show you in a couple of minutes but this is another kind of way to stay organized and have some presets ready to go but let's head back to the home screen there's so many things to show but i don't want to miss the important bits so if we click on this symbol let's go into the next way to generate graphics which is the guide it option so if you click on this it comes up with three simple steps first of all pick a product type so we'll do t-shirts uh, hit continue choose your niche so we have a bunch of preset niches right here or you can just enter the name of your niche if you want to let's do christmas why not because that's coming up soon Soon. we'll hit continue and then you also select the style so let's try kawaii in this case and hit continue then it tells you some uh, random facts right here and it generates some ideas for you for the designs that way you don't have to come up with your own prompt in a sense and then it describes the ideas right here and you can just choose your favorites you can literally select all of them if you want to um but that is once again going to use up quite a lot of credits. But yeah, I'd recommend reading through these quickly and then just choosing your favorites because these are AI generated. So some of them won't really make sense. Like sweet snow flurries, snowflake and candy blend. Um, not sure what that means. Maybe I'm just misinformed but yeah that doesn't make much sense to me um, but that there is definitely good ideas that come out of these sometimes so it is worth trying this method as well okay so i've selected a few that seem to make sense to me and then we'll hit generate right here 
and then once again it will pop up in your feed it sometimes takes a few seconds but as you can see we now also have the motorbike collection right at the top so if you wanted to go back while this is generating you can go back to the motorbike graphics and carry on working on those for example and to go back to your home page you just click on mystic on the logo and then you always get back to this kind of base screen right here so here we go the results are back from our guided run and as you can see we've got a few kawaii themed christmas graphics right here they're all about different Different topics. We've got a nutcracker, we've got Santa waving, this llama with a Christmas hat looks quite cool, a penguin in a sleigh, and I actually quite like this coffee cup right here as well. Kind of looks like a reindeer, and I think that's quite a cool idea. So yeah, definitely check out that guided version because if you've got a, a specific niche in mind and you're struggling to come up with ideas, then uh, this might really help you out. And now let's move on to the templates, which is, in my opinion, one of their best features and this one really got me excited when i started using this tool because here you have a ton of templates that are designed specifically around like popular t-shirt design styles and phrases and you can use these templates and kind of remix them to match your own niche or your own phrases really really easily for example let's say i want this design right here nope not going to happen but i want to use that kind of same theme just for other topics you just click on it you hit a remix right here i want to create eight designs and you could just say for other animals like you can be as bland as that you can be more specific and, and say I want designs for this specific niche or this specific animal but you can kind of use it like you would do with ChatGPT talk to it like a human tell it right I want this same style but for similar animals and then it's going to do that for you you can also do it with multiple designs so whilst that's generating I'll go back here so let's say I really like these three templates right here maybe this papa bear one as well but instead of chickens bears and, and dogs maybe I'll remix this and I'll say I want the graphics and the text to match the Dax Hunt niche, for example. Hit Remix. Oh, I only selected one design there. That was my mistake. I'll go back to the templates. That's one little thing that I've noticed. If you select multiple right here, you hit Remix and you don't turn up the slider, it's, it's only going to remix one of them. So we'll go back, we'll say, change the text and graphics to suit Daxons. Um, I'm going to hit Remix again. It's going to pop that into the queue. And now we can take a look at the other animal designs right here bruh it's cooler here wow so it's actually changed the phrase as well to match penguins instead of sloths yeah absolutely happening for the uh, trash pandas or raccoons right here not sure really how that phrase matches them but it's still cool that it's actually trying to change to fit the niche purr hear me roar bounce jump enjoy trumpets sounding off okay so it's quite interesting how it's taken this applied it to other niches and even changed the phrase for it the the style still looks the same we've got animals hanging around the word chill taking it easy which is really really cool if you wanted to still say nope and just have the same animals then you could hit remix say keep the text the same but change the animals from sloth to some other animals right so you have to be a bit more specific there than i was uh, we've got owls right here as well hoot who's there that's quite cool it's a neat idea I and mean, then all of the owls actually look pretty decent as well i'm not sure what this is right here i would probably remove that afterwards besides that this is a great graphic. Definitely see it work on a t-shirt. Meanwhile, the Daxon graphics have generated as well. We've got the dog whisperer right here, for example, that said the chicken whisperer before. It's changed the graphic as well. I quite like this result too, right here with the hat. Pretty much all of these dogs look great. Like there's no uh, like excess limbs, really. Oh, this one's missing some limbs, uh, the front legs, unfortunately. But besides that, it's, it's pretty damn near perfect. Um, the heart shape is still there. Instead of the eggs and chickens, we we now have paw prints and these dog bones so yeah this is definitely really really cool great result and uh, what else have we got this one was changed quite effectively to the new niche this one's gone blurry i'm not sure why that sometimes happens this is definitely not a mystic issue i've seen that with other tools as well where occasionally the results will be blurry and then we've got some other sort of vintage sunset and rainbow styles on here as well so we've changed multiple of the templates to a new niche very quickly. You've got American flags, you've got Christmas themed stuff, you've got location based things like there is so many, many different ways you can approach this tool right here to create graphics for different niches. It's, it's absolutely mind blowing. Like this says plant daddy. I could remix this for like an abundance of other niches as well, or just change the phrase for other funny phrases 
uh, for plants. Let's actually see if the remix feature does that for us as well. So let's hit remix. I've not tried this yet. We'll do eight and we'll say keep the graphic similar, but use new puns for the plant or gardening niche. I think that might be interesting to try. So we'll hit remix on that. By the way, you also have filters at the top. So again, you can filter out t-shirts. You can filter out specific styles. So if you only want to see the nature inspired designs, if that is one of the niches you're currently working on, filter it out right here and you'll have more specific templates. If you're like me and you really like retro sunset, just click on that preset and again, you'll have them all filtered out. I quite like this one as well, for example. And here's a bunch of location-based stuff. Let's quickly see how that works as well. If I choose some of these templates right here, let's say uh, Remix, we'll do four versions and we'll do apply these to different states. Hit Remix, see if it changes graphic and the text, or if you have to be more specific, the plant graphics already generating right here. Tremendous. I quite like that one. That is pretty cool. Um, that kind of looks a little bit like a bonsai tree. Yeah, that was the intention. We've got that in the prompt right here. Um, and I like the, the pun right there. Tremendous. Um, this one, uh, the background is a little bit different. It's got a shadow as well right here, but boom. Okay. I like the pun for bamboo, but the graphic has strayed away a little bit there. Lavender you, uh, Ivy leak. Not sure what that's meant to say, but actually the graphic looks quite neat. So yeah, in some cases can be hit and miss. It is AI after all. It won't always be perfect. But as you can see, you can even just select one template and tell it to come up with new puns for a specific niche based on that template. Uh, stick it to him. Uh, this is definitely a cool idea as well. And the graphic looks quite decent to me too. Let me know what you think of these features so far in the comments down below. And the first time I was messing around with this, my mind was absolutely blown. And the last thing I still wanted to show you is some of the bulk features right here, because if we select multiples, we can do this whole upscale background remove thing. I want to show you a quick test for those because they do cost a lot of credits, like the background remover right here for three designs costs 60 credits, which is quite a lot. So I wanted to show you what those results look like before you test your own free credits on those. The uh, different states have generated as well. So we've got Oregon, Alaska, uh, Maine, Georgia, and it seems to have changed the graphics accordingly as well, which is perfect. So yeah, love these styles as well, especially the Alaska result. I think that looks pretty damn neat. But let's go ahead and test the background remover and some of the other bulk features for some of these graphics as well. So I've gone ahead and selected a variety of different graphics right here that I really liked the result of. Then I go to bulk actions and hit remove background. So this is a lot of credit but I'll do this for this test so we can test out the results. Then, uh, by the way, you can also, when you click download, choose between spreadsheet, plain CSV file, or designs only. The reason you can download a spreadsheet is because that includes all of the data, like the description and the tags that it generates for you, if you want to use those as a starting off point for your listings. By the way, you can see right here in the notifications um, what's been going on. So it tells you background has been removed. Now that these have generated, I'm going to go to bulk actions and actually download the design files right here. That way we can take a closer look at them on my desktop. And by the way, the, the vectorizer and the upscaler right here also use a lot of credits. So if you don't want to burn through your credits too much, I do have some videos on the channel where I recommend free upscalers and free methods to remove the background with Photo P, for example. So do check out those videos if you don't want to use those bulk features. And by the way, they are still working on this. Like you want to see the background remove it is not perfect. You can actually see the results in here as well. You don't have to download. You can click through and this this actually looks like a decent result uh, whilst you're looking at it in mystic for alaska one quick tip though with the background remover if you do want to use it and this tip I, I got from chris himself so you click into your profile you go to settings and then you'll have to go to preferences right here there is a setting for background removal 2.0 i think this is turned off by default if you turn it on you should get slightly better results but he has also said they're still working on improving some of those features so here we go i've opened up the pngs with the background removed these are not upscaled by the way they're still at lower resolution but you can see around the edge it does look a little bit foggy right here there is a bit of sort of ghosting going on and this was one of the better results i think like some of these have a lot of white and even if you upscale this graphic or you vectorize it uh, it's not really going to look perfect here's another example where we've got some white lines around the edge here this didn't work out very well at all which is a bit of a shame but you know they are still working on that and like i said there is other ways to to upscale remove background stuff like that if you're not happy with these results so if you made it all the way to the end of this video, comment tremendous underneath to confuse some people that didn't make it to the end. And 
Let me know down below in the comments as well what you thought of Mystic. Maybe if you have suggestions, leave them there because I'm sure Chris is going to read through some of the comments. And if you want to learn some free methods to remove your background more effectively, make sure to check out this tutorial next.